Today I will show you, how to easily repair, and replace a broken 3.5mm jack on Zennheiser HD 429 headphones. Typical problem, when headphones one side, or both sides not working, or sound is without bass. For less than $5 you can fix your headphones, and they will be like new. These Sennheiser HD 429 headphones are classics, good headphones at an affordable price. But one side doesn't work. To repair a headphones, you need to know where the problem is. First, connect the headphones to a music source and turn on the music. When you put the headphones on your head, move the cable at 3.5 mm jack. If the sound becomes normal for even one second, you know that the cable is faulty at the 3.5 mm jack. If the sound is normal, when you move the cable near the headphone housing, then the cable is faulty at the headphone housing itself. See the next tutorial on how to fix such a broken headphone audio cable. In my case, the cable is broken at the 3.5mm jack, so today I will show you, how to fix 3.5mm jack, to make the headphones work like new. To repair these headphones, you will need a soldering toolkit, and some heat shrink tubing, and you must be at least 18 years old, or ask your grandmother for help. You will also need, to buy a new replacement stereo 3 pole 3.5mm jack. The link to the replacement jack is in the video description. Start by cutting off the damaged jack, but make sure the wire is a few centimeters long. Then from the housing side of the headphones, stretch the entire 3 meters long cable. This will free some of the excess cable jacket, and the headphones will last longer. Put the jack housing and tail clamp on the cable, as after soldering you will not be able to put both on the cable. Then carefully, remove the cable outer jacket with a sharp paper knife but be careful not to damage the inner wires. Carefully separate all three wires, but with 110% accuracy. As the smallest wire will be at the wrong color wire, and the headphones will not work correctly. Cut off the fabric wires, they will only interfere with the soldering work. In the end you should have three wires, gold, blue and red. With the pliers, make metal metal clamp wider. Then take a small heat shrink tubing, which you stretch wider with the pliers and put on the cable. Then tin all three wires, so that the wires can be soldered to the 3.5mm jack more easily and qualitatively. The gold wire can be tin the whole length, as it is a ground wire. Once all three wires are tin, put the headphones on your head, and check with a multimeter which color wire is left and right channels. In my case the red colored wire is for the right channel, and the blue wire for the left channel. Then tin all three jack contacts, so that you can solder the wires more easily, and qualitatively. Solder the ground wire according to this paint diagram. Clamp the cable with a clamp, so that it does not break the soldered wire. Then tin the left wire, and cut off the excess length of wire, so that no short circuit, when soldering the wire. Solder the left wire. Do the same with the right channel wire, and solder. Put the headphones on your head, open the tech screw left and right channel test video, the links is in the description. This is how you check, if the headphones are fixed correctly, and sound good as new. Apply super glue to the cable clamp, where the cable is attached to the jack. Apply heat shrink tubing over the top. Then apply grandpa nail polish over the contacts, to prevent future short circuits. Apply more super glue. And screw the jack housing on top, screw it on tight. Everything inside will stick together with the super glue, and be well fixed. This is the result. The headphones are ready to use, but you're in the tech screw channel, so I'll show you how to finish them professionally. Take the heat shrink tubing, which is slightly longer than the jack housing, and smaller in diameter, then stretch the heat shrink tubing with the pliers bigger, to fit over the top of the jack, then attach it. This will give extra cable fixation and longer headphone life. Looks like from the factory, but will probably last even longer. Thanks for watching. My grandmother, and I will be happy, if you hit the like and subscribe buttons for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below this video. Have a nice day.